obviously it's a it's a different meaning and that's just my personal opinion please do not be offended by me saying that oh my gosh you're gonna be offended <laughs> Hello you beautiful human, I am Xanthi and in today's video I am going to be talking about religion. You're probably wondering how the heck religion relates to what type of videos I'm making and let me tell you why. So I have recently been getting um, actually a good amount of questions um, DM'd to me on my Instagram about what religion means to me and what I think about people who are religious. And I thought about it and I was like, that would actually be a really cool video because a lot of people are asking and I might as well answer it for everyone um, if you're questioning um, my beliefs or if you're just curious in general what um, a lesbian thinks about religion, here you go. So I wrote down everything in my handy dandy notebook that I write all of my ideas on and of course there are like check boxes because I like to be prepared with my I am really a mermaid pen. Yeah. So, the first thing that was like the biggest question is what do you personally think about religion? And for me personally, I never really grew up on religion or believing in God or otherwise. And so I never really was put into that um I guess community of people and so I never had any preconceived ideas and I didn't think anything negative of religion um, nor positive and so when I was younger I honestly didn't really believe in anything um, and I didn't really think too much about religion but now that I'm older and um, I know more religious people and I've been part of groups and stuff like that um, I personally think that believing in something that makes you happy is really all that matters. If believing in God helps you get up in the morning, helps you make your decisions, helps you feel good about yourself, then heck yeah, believe in God, believe in whatever you believe in. But the only thing I don't like about religion is obviously the fact that God doesn't like gay people. And I mean, yes, there are different texts and everything in the bible um different bibles about how homosexuality is not okay and all these different things and discriminating against these minorities but then again it's the love thy neighbor and being kind to everyone and making everyone equal and love everyone and so it kind of just confuses me to be honest um i've never really had anybody like attack me or say anything was super negative about my orientation because I just personally don't surround myself with those type of people but I know that um, religion is one of the main causes for um, the LGBTQ plus community to be a minority and to be discriminated against. That doesn't mean that I think that religion is a bad thing. It just really depends on how you use religion. Um, I am perfectly okay with you believing in whatever you believe in as long as you don't force me to believe in something or as long as you don't force me to not be myself. So there you go. I hope that was, I hope that made sense. Check. I kind of already touched on this, but do I know anybody religious? Yes. <laughs> um, first off, my girlfriend is religious. She believes in God. Um, so that is cool and I guess a little ironic, but, um, I've gone to church with her and, um, her family and I really like the church that they go to. It's really interesting and, um, I feel safe there. I mean, I wouldn't like hold her hand or be affectionate there, but I feel comfortable just being there, you know? Oh, something's in my eyeball. I also um, went to this, I guess, group called Young Life, and that was basically a group of um, teenagers, people, um, I guess, I feel like it was grade 8 to grade 12, but I'm not quite sure, somewhere in between there, um, a 
whoever wanted to come, those students would come and um, it would be at someone's house and we would basically just sing songs, um, hang out, and then we would also have time where the leaders would read from the Bible and then connect it to a time in their life and what they learned and what they felt and what we can learn and what we can feel and that God is there for us and he is our father, right? And he is there to protect us. And so I really do like the actual idea of it because it's teaching people to be basically decent human beings, right? I'm getting off topic. Ugh. But yes, I do know people who believe in God and otherwise. Do you believe in anything religious? Um, well, <laughs> I personally do not believe in God. I do not believe, um, the different things that happened, like the water splitting or turning water into whatever alcohol that was or like the different magic that happened. I personally believe that that was written in more of a dramatic fictional way to show how important these different things were. They were I just believe that the Bible was made to teach life lessons. Like this one guy who had, what was it called? A disease. And I feel like it was um, something that made your limbs kind of go numb or something. Anyway, and they would have to ring a bell whenever they came into the town um and everyone was scared of it it's kind of ironic because that's kind of what is happening now with the pandemic but everyone was separated by that person and that person knew that they were gonna die and they were like sent away where all these other people had the same illness um but this one guy he walked up to jesus and he was like hey can you heal me of the sickness and everyone like stopped and they looked at Jesus they're like oh my gosh he's touching him so Jesus like put his hand on the man I believe do not quote me um, and he cured him I personally do not believe that that is real or that that magic happened but I believe that the idea of it of being helpful towards this man or just person in general who is being ostracized by all of society because they have this one illness. I feel like the illness, it was a real thing, I know that, but it was also to represent probably just the differences in humans and how you need to come together and help that one person, you know, that really needs that help. And it's hard, it's really hard to be isolated, I've learned. Um, through this pandemic and so I guess maybe the lesson was to include people and help people and not I guess discriminate them because they have this illness obviously all of my beliefs are only mine I do not expect you to agree with me or um, believe that I'm right I am also not saying that if you believe in these stories and these amazing things that happened that Jesus did, I'm not saying that if you believe that, that you're silly or you're not smart. I have no idea what happened. I can't judge you for believing in stuff. I mean, I believed in so many things as a kid and even still now. And I can seem silly, but yeah, I just want you to not feel silly for believing in what you believe in. And also, I'm trying to be as positive as I can and try not to offend anyone. Obviously, I know I will offend at least one person. But the majority of you will appreciate this video, hopefully, and maybe understand me a little bit better or understand my perspective obviously i can't speak for all lesbians or all of the lgbtq plus community um but i just want you to know that not all gay people hate religion <laughs> so back to the do you believe in anything religious 
I do not believe in anything religious, but I do believe in spirit, spirituality and um, energy. So like healing energy, um, if um, I scraped my knee or whatever, my hands will warm up and I will put them on my knee um, and it will help heal my knee. Or if um, someone else is hurt um, physically um, or even in their brain like a headache, I can um, heal them, I guess, which I know sounds crazy. My hands are always ice cold. That's just why I find it so interesting that when I really focus and really try to get that healing energy, my hands heat up like they're really red and a little puffy because they're so hot. Right now, they are ice cold, like so, so cold. So I believe that healing energy is a thing, that we're all connected. I believe that spirits are real, um, meaning if someone passes, their spirit will live on here. Or if they don't want to be here, they choose to go wherever they go. But I just believe that for example, my dog, Candy, <laughs> a little weird of a name, I know, some people have told me that, but whatever, um, she passed when I was about nine years old, but I believe that she, her spirit is still around me, um, looking over me, um, just there, and it comforts me to think that something is there and that healing me and looking out for me and looking over me um, and kind of pushing me in the right direction. Now I know this is very similar to God. I just personally don't like the idea of God controlling my life. Um, like that he has set out a path for me and no matter what I do, he has already planned it. Um, because I li I'm very independent and I like to be in charge of my own thing and yeah but i do also believe that everything happens for a reason and no matter how bad something is things will get better i am just an optimist i optimist i just like to think positively think good of people think good of life because you might as well i mean if you're gonna walk around life all negative and gloomy all the time i mean that's just I personally don't want to do that because that does not help with my mental health. Um, and if I just walk around life with positivity and sunshine radiating from me, if something bad happens to me, I can recover. Because if I was all sad and gloomy all the time, it would just dig deeper and it would just, it would not end well. Uh, it, I don't know. I just personally try to stay optimistic and happy and believing in spirits and healing energy helps me with that sorry i'm getting off topic so the next question was um have you heard anything bad said by someone who was religious towards me so that would be like homophobia um anything discriminatory which is usually homophobia um personally not towards me but I have heard um, people in in grade school, like in elementary school, saying bad things about homosexuals. I don't know if they were religious, so I can't really say that. But everyone that I know who is religious is really accepting of me, is really accepting of the community. Uh, I think that's also because I just surround myself with those kind of accepting, positive people. Um, so I've never really gotten the chance or opportunity to have someone be super homophobic towards me personally. So, yeah, I've been really, really lucky and I know that and I'm just really grateful for that and I'm so, so, so sorry. If you have faced discrimination, um, abuse, verbal, physical, mental, whatever, because someone was religious and they don't believe that you being gay or or trans or um, bisexual or get a lesbian or whatever you are I am sorry and I just want you to know that I am here for you if you need to talk to someone here's my Instagram if you have Instagram um, or even just comment down below because if I 
can't answer your question below, other followers can. I will try to my, with my best effort, but if I can't, I know that the other viewers will help you. And yeah, so you have your own little community here, um, no matter if you're straight or part of the community. Um, yeah. Have I ever been to church? Yes. I went to church when I was really small, like Sunday school. Then I went to church um, with my girlfriend and her family. Um, I think I've gone twice with her, three times, not really sure. Um, I also went with um, one of my friends and they are religious and they brought me to church and I really enjoyed it actually. I mean, I ate the flatbread stuff and the wine and that was a little weird for me to just think about. Like, it kind of reminds me of cannibalism. And I was just like, hmm, no thanks. But, I mean, obviously it's a it's a different meeting. And that's just my personal opinion. Please do not be offended by me saying that. Oh my gosh. You're gonna be offended. Yes, I've been to church. I've been to church for weddings, too. Um, yeah. I think that church is fine as long as you pick the right church depending on your sexual orientation or what you identify as. And then the last question is, do you know anything about the Bible? And since I went to Young Life, I know some of the stories. I actually went on this trip like two years ago and my friend, he is religious and we really dove deep into what religion and um, homosexuality means and um, how they can come together with love and acceptance and open arms and just learning about the different stories that he um, had heard or read and what he believed and what he thought that that meant it was really interesting to talk to him and understand what he was thinking and what he was feeling and then I talked to him about my beliefs and um, my orientation. Yeah, it was really, really good. And so I do know a couple stories, but I don't feel comfortable sharing them because I feel as though you probably, one, will get bored, and two, I probably won't tell them right. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope that this video wasn't too awkward and that I didn't offend you too much. This was kind of a random video because I haven't really talked about religion like at all, but I had been getting questions about it, so I'm like, I guess, why not? An interesting video might get views, might not. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and that you have had a lovely day. And I hope that you got something from this video or you learned something from this video. And yeah, if you want to share this video with anybody, you can just press the little arrow share button. I love that thing. It looks so fun. You can also like this video if you liked it. Anyway, um, if you want to watch more videos on LGBTQ plus content, you can subscribe and hit the little bell that goes ding -ling -ling. <laughs> ding ling You can click the bell to get post notifications every time I post a new video. Next week, I'm going to be uploading a video on how to know if you are a lesbian. Because when I was younger, I searched that up a lot and it really helped me to know what those people thought and what those people felt and what they went through and so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to narrow down yourself. That's next week's video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I am going to put a video here and here, both videos, because why not, to watch next. You can watch this one next or this one next or both. Go crazy. Okay, I love you. Enjoy these videos. See you next time.